that an orange smoke bomb went off at Wimbledon yesterday, despite the fact that people have been queuing for security checks for best part of a day, not even getting in through the gates. Those security checks failed miserably yesterday and we had tennis players having to clean up the mess. Um, uh, two protesters arrested. Uh, here they are throwing <coughs> bits of jigsaw. Yeah, is it jigsaw or some sort of glitter? It's, uh, it's a jigsaw but wearing shorts. and glitter. He don't like his shorts much. <laughs> no, um... well, he, and he took off his jacket <laughs> when he sat down. I think Casey Bolter was one of the players who had to help clean up. Owen, is this justifiable protest because the world is going to hell in a burning handcart? Or is this just annoying and we should all do what Rishi Sunak suggested earlier this week? We should all do a Johnny Bairstow and heroically handle these protesters off the tennis courts. Protests that make an impact are always annoying. They always have been throughout history. The rise in freedoms a lot of people, all of us have, were won because of people being annoying. Uh, whether that be the rights of women to vote, whether that be of, uh, of, of minorities, whether just <coughs> democracy, that was won because people did things which were inconvenient. Because, of course, the suffragettes... Uh, well, uh, it sabotaged the Grand National. Oh, the Suffolk didn't, didn't just they? sabotage the Grand National. They bombed, and they and I'm not recommending. I'm not just before no. I get dragged off by the police. I'm not recommending just a pile do that. But the uh, Suffolk did far more than than anything just a pile did. They smashed apart galleries, uh, and actually five people died during their campaign. Uh, people look back and go, well, look. Whatever we think about the suffragettes' tactics, the cause they were fighting for was far was was a or well, the injustice was far more evil. All I'd say is this is the test: is how's this going to look in thirty years? This discussion, mm. how's it going to look when we have more <laughs> extreme droughts, famines, mm. extreme weather events, millions of people driven from their homes? As we just discussed, you've been discussing today. We had the hottest day on Earth mm. since records began on Tuesday. The second hottest day was Monday. The consequences of that yeah. are millions of people... I'm sorry to be people watching breakfast, getting up, it's, we want to be cheerful. Are you going to do millions, a doom and gloom? Millions of people are going to die. I'm really sorry to have to spell this out, and but that's because the... we've put emissions into the atmosphere, trapped yeah. in the heat, and say, it has consequences. It's a climate crisis. Which is what the, the phrase that they are desperate for us to use, they're desperate for the government to stop putting out oil... Climate catastrophe. Yeah, catastrophe. Well, oil parliament, oil licenses. Parliament already passed a law saying it's a climate emergency. It's mm. already the official position of this mm. country that we have a climate emergency. But Quentin, can you see things should be changing? Presenting the weather. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, fine. Yeah, well, well, we've, we've already got, got someone presenting my, the weather. My general, general view uh, of, of those people at Wimbledon, those protesters, and the people at Lords, is that they're middle-class pillocks who haven't got enough to do. Oh, well, uh, we can't all should be, be as working class as, as but, you. Uh, I did think there was something slightly artistic uh, about that glitter, and also it made me laugh that there were jigsaws and uh, the of fact they, they bought the jigsaw at the Wimbledon shop. I thought that was quite funny. Well, uh, which has now stopped selling jigsaws. Yes, I know. Just in case someone sad. does But the thing is, uh, the, 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 most of the protests that uh, Owen talks about in history have been about a quest for tolerance, which is a very good thing. This is a quest for intolerance in that it's going to be preventing people using their cars and having gas no, cookers no, and things like that. On, hold and that's on. why I'm, I'm just a little bit more sceptical that this will succeed. So, Quentin, that's not that what they're arguing for. They're saying that instead of relying on fossil fuels, we should rely on renewable energy, which would create jobs, skilled jobs, by the way. No. They want affordable public transport uh, instead of penalising people for using buses no, and no. trains because they're so expensive. Um, th I mean, th what they want is a, a world which w is not poisoned yeah, well, by our I mean, emissions. What they that's, want... Such change. A, yeah. Are they getting it? I mean, for instance, one of the funders of Just Stop Oil also donates to the Labour mm -hmm. Party. I've met uh, him. Labour, Dale Vince. Guy. Dale uh, Vince. Uh, so his aim is exactly as you've said, moving away from fossil fuels. The Labour Party have said that they would not allow new oil and gas licences. So mm -hmm. is it having? Is that a direct consequence? Do you think uh, the, of what they're doing? The fact we're getting any action at all is because people have campaigned for mm. so long. But there is a strategic but, difference right. in that this is to do with stopping. It's sort of bossing people around, wagging a finger, and saying you want not going to be able to do that in future. Yes, no. and that's why I don't think. That's that there is going to be quite such public support. No, Quentin, that's, I genuinely think, with all due respect, that's such a misunderstanding of what they're trying to do. Well, all they're trying to do is it's, say... It's, it's what I feel or, is... Well, that's your view, of course, yeah. you're entitled to it, but what they're actually trying to do is say, instead of <clears> drilling <throat> for oil and gas, we should focus on the renewable energy of the future. Yeah, sure. We, oil and well, gas that's, that's, making, that's all a good thing. We're going to run out of oil and gas anyway, but if you focus on oil and gas, you're going to put emissions into the atmosphere, and what that's going to do is destroy the planet. But, and what I'm future. saying is that's this, all it's the, saying. Pro, it's the prohibitive nature 
of their demands that they're, will lose them public they're not. They're just arguing for a transition. It's called a, dream, it's called a green they transition. Are. They're trying to stop things. Why? Okay, Owen, well, in favour of something Owen, better. Owen, That's what they're why, trying to do. Why are they taking it out on Katie Bolter? Well, why is Katie Bolter responsible for we... oil and gas drilling and emissions? She's not, she's not, but right. we've just had a five-minute discussion on national television with, with hundreds of thousands of people watching, yeah. talking about the climate emergency. So if they actually went to one of the companies responsible... They do that, and, ..and did that... Well, they do, they, 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 they do that. do that, but when I did bet they do that? the problem is well they have they've targeted those companies over and over again, but they haven't got quite the coverage when they've done that. I'm sorry to say this, but look, oh. so when should you we? Do... So if we want to uh, protest about their tactics, we should not well, cover the, what the, they're doing. Well, what you're doing is proving that they work. I'm sorry mm. to say this, but yeah. of course, the more the more high profile the more you get a discussion about the climate emergency. Mm -hmm. Have you seen D Don't Look Up, the mm -hmm. film? Yes. Which is, uh, I th hope, informs the way you talk about yeah. these things. Because Don't well, Look Up... Well, every time we discuss it, we're compared to Don't well, Look no, Up. Well, no, I'm not saying you are, but in that, <laughs> you have an asteroid, a comet hit, coming towards the Earth... Yes. ..and then you have these discussions where it's not it. taken TV. seriously yeah. on national television. Yeah. Now, the, the fact is, we had lots of protests where people marched and had lovely placards mm. and waved them around. Do you know how much media coverage they got? Absolutely nothing. I'm not and sure the only true. reason they did not barely sure anything. <clears throat> the only way you get the coverage where we actually talk about what's going to happen. You know, people have seen extreme flooding, for example, in yes. this country. But, get used to but, it. You're going to get a lot not, more of that. It okay. would be unfair to say we don't discuss it. We discuss it frequently. Regularly. I think it's the it, the trouble is it's the tactics. Well, the more you, the more you the, tell what people, what tactic off, would you say? What, what's going to make you very, have this very, discussion you're, you're sounding, without this? You're sounding bossy. Just bossy. calm down. I'm bossy. I'm I would never stop. boss you around. Quentin, when did saying everything. calm down ever make anyone calm down? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I feel very zen. I, I oh, feel very zen. I want to be greener, but I don't want to be bossed around. Do you think, believe think, the climate emergency is real and that yes. we have to take drastic action? Yes. We're going to be... Well, we've the, got more you're getting, the more you boss people about, the more they will recoil. This is what people said about the... We've got... Yeah. Well, no, we've got... They did. They did. Oh, it'll be interesting, because we've got the former spokesperson for Extinction Rebellion coming in a little bit later on with Swampy. Even he thinks it's... Not and they're feeling anymore. like actually taking everybody together is a far more effective yeah. way of, of purveying an argument rather than sort of mm. uh, getting bossy. Uh, let's talk about something else. Uh, <laughs> says, says Ben, bossing us on. I know. Let's yeah. talk about something else. Uh, <laughs> Hurry along, please. The front, 